Gotham Knights launched with its fair share of problems, but I love this game. The community is divided, 50-50 it seems. Some people are loving the game, other people feel like the game fell a bit short of the success bar. But with the implement of its two new updates, the game has gone up to mostly positive reviews on Steam, and I feel like it's finally getting the respect that it deserves. Welcome to False Fiction, ladies and gentlemen. We got some bad girl stealth gameplay in the background. Stay tuned to see if your boy can successfully complete this stealth operation without getting spotted by the henchmen. But today's topic of conversation is the two new updates that have been implemented to Gotham Knights that have skyrocketed the reviews on Steam from mixed to mostly positive. It seems like the main problems that plagued this game were mechanical and gameplay decisions made by the developers that prohibited the player from playing the way they wanted to or the way they had in mind. But now that those problems have been addressed and fixed, the game is starting to get a little bit more love and people are starting to realize how much fun the game is. On the PC side of things, we got the invincible enemies that have been playing the meditation animation. It's uh, That glitch is actually pretty funny. I was very confused when I first saw it. Uh, I should have some footage up on the screen right now. Absolutely hilarious, but that is now fixed. Uh, it actually says no longer appear in crimes, which is interesting. We also got various UI fixes, uh, fix some issues caused by graphical settings not being applied properly, various lo localization fixes, fix various keyboard and mouse specific input issues. Uh, and on a co-op side of things, we fixed an issue that was preventing friends from being able to join each other's games through invites. Some stability yeah. issues have been fixed, such as various crash fixes through the title, most uh, most notably during the Star Labs Free the Scientist fight and the Harley Quinn Hospital boss fight. Uh, fixed an issue with AMD specific crash related to uh, Shadows as well. On the console side of things, at Blackgate, the flicker, uh, flickering textures while on the bike and pause in front of the gate will no longer happen. When dropping down from a ledge slash beam, you will no longer jump forward. Okay, so that is the biggest problem that has been plaguing this game. Well, one of the biggest problems. Players are trying to do stealth options or just drop down from a ledge and it will hop 45 meters across the, the room and give themselves away and look like a goddamn dumbass giving away their position, not being able to make any good footage because they look like they can't play the game it's, it's it was a mess but that's been fixed we've also got inv invincible enemies playing the meditation on console as well we have general stability issues with destructible objects that have been fixed some general crashes throughout the title as well and crashes specifically tied to mod slash fusing has been fixed uh that's very unfortunate that that was happening i was unaware that that was happening on console but no longer shall it be happening. Hell yeah, Gotham Knights is in a much better state than it was. Check it out. Peace.